Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and to getting me to the 1,000. Um, I really appreciate you all. And uh, I hope you continue to press that subscribe button and like my content. Thank you again. So here, in my One Factory 360, I have European Nightcrawlers and Red Wigglers, Senia Fatita. There are no blue worms in here. And I haven't checked them in a few days, so we're gonna we're gonna look at them. And as I can, you can see the euros are doing great. Now these two worms, they live together in harmony. They um usually what the way the way it goes is the red wigglers will eat on the closer to the surface, and the European nightcrawlers like to dive deeper. So it's like the perfect balance. By the way, guys, the worms are coming back on my website September 4th, which is just a few days away. I'm excited for the worming season, and I am selling a blend of European night crawlers and red wigglers. So don't miss out on that. And I have sales going to celebrate the worm season. I always put sales on. But they're doing well. The euros are like a lot bigger <laughs> this is this is it has a good dampness see when you go like this gently though because I don't squeeze the worms and you get this little ball of your bedding it's good you're having good moisture but I do want to fluff this up they do have a corn that they've been playing with here but it's starting to fall apart but I'm just gonna leave it there it's important to fluff your worm bins when you're home composting like this to get oxygen in there. When worm bedding gets compacted, it can go anaerobic, which means it rots in a bad way. And the smell is horrid. So I do everything in my power to avoid that. Look at this, uh, look at this European nightcrawler, guys. That is one good looking worm right there. So I fluff, fluff, fluff. I did have some, some screw, food scraps for them, but instead I gave it to my breeders. I do give um, food scraps to my breeders, like my commercial worm farm. Um, a lot of commercial worm farmers don't do that, but I just, I don't know. I just do things a little different sometimes. I just go by my instincts and what I think will work and will make the worms happy. And I've been raising them 21 years and you know I've had I've had great successes and I've also had failures you know nothing's perfect but I just love them so much I love my wormies giving them a good fluff is always a good idea so I don't think there's anything underneath though you never know worms do like to go under ah there's a few but you see, look at all the castings down here, and look at all the cocoons. So the cocoons are falling here. But, you know, if they want to be there, I just leave them. So for those of you that are new to composting, those little white things are called springtails. And they don't harm the worm bin. They don't harm the worms. They don't, they're just part of the composting world. You're never going to get rid of them. They're just part of the ecosystem. But if you do get, like, an overabundance of them, what you do is fluff up your bedding and let it dry a little bit because springtails come from moisture and sometimes people tend to overfeed their worm bins with like very wet food like watermelon um so cucumbers and that will bring like a, a lot of springtails so but you know they're always there they've been in my worm bins for years they don't bother me so I just go with the flow with them because they're there. Mites also, you'll see mites, but um, if they get over excessive, which honestly I don't see any right now, but then I don't have my cheaters on, um, you can take diatomaceous earth, the food grade kind, and you can just sprinkle it and rub it on all the edges and the surface and they disappear. So these are some troubleshooting things for you. Worm composting is one of the most incredible things that you can do for the, our planet. Um, it, it just is. 
it they take care of the food scraps and they leave you this black like it's it's like black gold it's amazing it's one of the best fertilizers in the world and I get this question all the time it has no odor and this is just like paper towel I had used just to dry my hands with water so I just bury it there and give it to the worms so I'm gonna give them a little more bedding so my bedding here is coconut coir that's been dampened and I have shredded newspaper here from my shredder because why dump that in the landfill right let them eat it and they love paper especially the European night crawlers European night crawlers love carbon paper boxes those Amazon boxes that you guys have just you know rip them up and throw them in there and for many years I didn't have like um, um, a shredder I just ripped it with my hands and they did fine with it so I'm mixing the new bedding in so it could just get all in there all right I'm gonna let them work this and I have my worm chow this is my personal worm chow that I make this is my autumn blend I usually have a premium blend that I sell all year and then in the autumn I make my autumn blend and they love it so another tip for you guys is when you feed worm chow wet your worm bin first if you're gonna wet it and then put the worm chow on the surface and just go like this a little bit don't put the worm chow first and then wet it the reason is and this is very important the worm chow will go down into the bedding and can start fermenting in a bad way and cause gases, which leads to protein poisoning or string of pearls and worms. In my 21 years uh, worm career, I've had string of pearls protein poisoning twice and it is horrid to look at and the worms don't recover. And it's just a very sad sight, it really is. And they suffer and I don't like that. So you wet your bin first, then you sprinkle it on and the worms will come from underneath and just bring it all down in them and then they'll handle it so anyway I hope you guys learned something again thank you to all my subscribers a worm giveaway is gonna come on this channel I am preparing the worms for the giveaway and I'm gonna tell everyone on my other channel so stay tuned guys and I'll see you next time take care